Hello YouTubers, this is Nubifier. The audio is going to be a bit uh, off because I'm not using what I normally use. I'm just going to use standard Shadowplay. So, uh, this whole video comes about because uh, I posted this up in Tactical Advance. I asked Tactical Advance as another YouTuber. Uh, he's a lot more popular than I am, so he's a lot more of a fan base and a lot more traffic. So I just thought it would be polite to ask him if it would be possible or okay for me to post this here. And after he looked at it, he uh, asked me to get a little bit more in depth with uh, how voice attack works. So I'm very cool with that idea. So effectively, I'll show you here. This is voice attack and there's a profile that goes with it. You can see it's reading my voice and it's not recognizing anything. If I said lock missile, targeting, you notice that it picked that up. That's because that command is built in. So it is picking up words, but what it's, what it's gonna react to is only what's in here. What time is it? It is now 9.45 p.m. So, that's basically what time it is it right here. So all it is is say time. And it can be triggered by two different commands. So what time is it and time check are both the same command and they'll output the same thing. The reason I've done that is because it's sometimes hard to remember, especially if you're in a video game, uh, exactly what command you're supposed to say. So there's like four or five different ways of saying the same thing on some commands. And uh, example like countermeasures, you see here it says release countermeasure, fire decoy, release decoy, uh, and there's also like decoy. So the last thing I want to do when I'm trying to fire decoys or countermeasures out the back of my ship is to screw up, say the wrong thing, and have it not work. So there's about seven different ways of saying it right there. So all that this one is going to do, it's built like a macro. It's going to hit Z, which fires a countermeasure. It's going to hit X, which changes the countermeasure and it's going to fire the other one and then it's going to change back and then it's going to tell me positive countermeasures out. So that's fantastic. I don't even have to think about it. I just have to basically say decoy and it's going to fire a chaff and a flare. And I'll show you how that works here. Decoy. Countermeasures out. See how fast that was. It just, uh, it's like pushing ZXZX on the keyboard except you don't have to look down and you don't have to push any buttons. So it's very, very quick. And I actually think that it's a uh, better immersion than uh, looking around a keyboard or trying to bind that to something on your HOTAS. There's no reason and uh, it's fast. So it's easy to build. If you wanted to rebuild this command, all you would do is say key press and then you would choose what key what specialized key you wanted to do, or you could uh, just say key press and press that button. If you need a modifier, you add the modifier. It's so easy. I would like to remind people, use Windows Game Direct, because if you use standard, although it'll work in Windows, it won't work in the game. So that's a pro tip. You can break it down into categories for easy, uh, so you can find things easily. And you can even get complicated. Like if you wanted to do uh, missiles. One moment. Forgive me, please. This is all off the cuff. It's not uh, scripted or anything like that. So you see here. So the words fire missile, send it, launch missile, or fire all do the same thing. And when that happens, it says click middle mouse button. And you'll notice I have it set for half a second instead of the default of 0 0.1 seconds because the way the missile system works is you go tap 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 that'll lock three missiles but if you push and hold the middle mouse button it'll send them so I've already built that you have to know what command you're trying to do before you build it so you know what you need to make happen so for locking missiles is a uh, 0.1 seconds which is exactly what you should do and you push and hold and it launches it so when it launches it, because I want to know that the computer has received my information, it'll actually say missile out and, or firing. It, it'll choose at random between those two, and then it'll say on the way. So I can't really show that to you 
um, because it's just middle mouse button. However, send it. Firing. On the way. Send it. Firing. On the way. So that command is really, really useful because you don't have to bind it to anything. You just basically tell it, tell the computer what you want it to do. And as I said, I think it's actually uh, more immersion than, uh, than if you're pushing buttons. So for this particular thing, I've included list help. You can say list shield commands, list missile commands, list power commands, list targeting commands, list countermeasure commands, or also list emotes. List shield commands. You can say balance shields and I will center the shields or shields front, shields back, shields top, shields bottom, shields left, shields right. If the craft is not fitted with top mounted shields, for example, the command will do nothing. So effectively what I've got here is if I say uh, front shields, you'll see shields what it, front. Huh, shut up. What it does is it actually says shields front so that I know that it received it and then it'll center the shields and then push num8 a bunch of times which is going to push the shields all the way forward. If you wanted to take my uh, my thing here and make it less aggressive, like I have the shields going all the way forward but that's how I use them. If you wanted it to just go a little bit forward you could do that and again it's important to remember that the reason I have it center it first and then go is that if I had already said shields back and the shields were all the way to the back and then I said shields front, it won't put the shields front. It'll only put them back to where they started. So that's why it, uh, it's important to lock down that uh, centering and then move it. And it's the same for any one of the commands like top, bottom, left, right. Uh, it'll, it'll do that. Similar for uh, power. So if I wanted power to engines, you can see here it'll press 4 and then press 3. And then say power propulsion, which is... Power uh, propulsion. Fuck. Anyways, it's good to disable this when you're not uh, trying to talk. I've also got it built into some stuff like shadow play. We'll press all, Alt and F9. Uh, for my track IR, if I say uh, center helmet, it'll actually uh, center. The, it'll reset. And then uh, for zoom in, zoom out is there, gimbal locks, targeting nearest enemies, all that's built into this. And again, you can, you can take mine, please, and use it or use it as a baseline. Um, right now, it's uh, list countermeasure commands. Just say, deploy, and I will fire a chaff and a flare for you. Sick. So the reason that this video came came about was um, all the emotes. So this is where this program is worth the money. You basically type type agree uh, will hit slash and type the word agree and then hit enter. So you don't have to type it. I'll give you an example of what that looks like. And uh, yeah, the program itself is it may seem overwhelming, but uh, once you figure it out, it's basically a uh, a macro and as I said don't bother building your own if you don't want to just figure out what mine how mine works what we'll do now is I'll move on to some track IR this program has a piece of hardware that goes along with it I've already done a video for this so just look in my history on my YouTube channel if you want a little bit more detail however uh, this program has three uh, physical LEDs that go on your headset and then um, how that translates is the pink head is where my head actually is and the yellow head is where I'm looking so you can see it uh, kind of takes off all of a sudden and I have that so that as I'm looking um, as I'm trying to aim my guns I have finite control and like good control and then if I just wanted to look off the left or right hand side of the the ship I can do that too and you can actually see this it's very linear and then it progressively takes off so this program is what I use to um, aim guns and you get anything that's gimbaled can be tracked to your head providing it's on a mount here's enemy here's enemy contact
Send it. Send it. You're so done. Beautiful. Decoy. Lock two. Send it. Firing. On the way. <laughs> you suck. Shields full. So for the second part of the video, we're going to try uh, using the emotes. And I've already done a video on that, so this is just basically a follow-up. I'm going to go try to wave at some people. <laughs> I guess we're not doing shit. Oh, 
We can do it some other way. Chat window. Type greeting. Okay. Type greeting. Okay. Hey! Type point. Okay. There. So obviously this works. Okay. Much better. Chat window. So I'm pretty sure you guys get the point. It, uh, it works really, really well. And uh, as long as you know what you're trying to say to something. I just noticed they really did fix the lighting in this hangar. It's gorgeous. It used to be crazy, crazy white. Now it's just kind of nice. Anyways, uh, that's the video. So you see track IR and voice attack working. I think it's really good. I use a HOTAS Warthog with all this. And um, I find it really immersive. Uh, please like and subscribe to the video. Like I said, I'm going to put a link to everything. All the profiles and everything like that are, are built in to this uh, YouTube video. And uh, like and subscribe. Have a good game.